we have learned over time is about it's over a year now, about a year and uh, six months there about since we started using this thing. Now. So over time we have improved and uh, we have seen that it is perfect. But there are those that I introduced the thing to people have stopped using it because they are not they are not comfortable. Moving from old old way to new way is always a difficult thing. But resisting, you see the result is it's just perfect. Is that right? You put your water, you can see how the water is just neat. The fish very comfortable. Okay. Okay. So it's all right. We have to wait. Let's uh, drain this water and see what uh, the productivity in this pond looks like. Okay. Um, so we see whether this uh, method of fish culture is actually productive, and uh, what uh, you now have to decide uh, which of the best uh, culture practice, which of the culture practice is best for you. We are done removing the water from the pond and. Uh, this is what we have so as you can see harvest is ongoing and uh, you can see they are loading the fish in the containers but then i think you can see look at the sizes of the fish we have here um how many pieces of fish there it's 13. 13 pieces of fish so we already loaded 13 so we are going to wait let's see uh, after loading we now wait to see the number of fish vessels there weight is going to give us so this is a fish that was cultured uh, in a probiotics so this uh, the fish we didn't change the water the worst case scenario is just reducing the water and topping off as you can see sometimes people ask questions what are the, uh, the thing that is on the bottom of the pond what is at the bottom of the pond is sandy soil just like the soil that the sand that you need to use for plastering you know or used to do your um, block work that is just what we added to the bond bottom it's going to help the, the useful bacteria attach themselves to to see a medium to attach themselves to so as you can see why the color change is just because um, excretion uh, and uh, or eating food have been missing up with it and that is why you see so look at the size of fish that we have here each of these fish weighs 1.5 and above some of them are 2 kg of fruit now um how many kg were we able to get here so there's 29 right am i right 29.65 kg uh -huh. so how many pieces of fish here 18 so 18 pieces of fish gave us 29.65 kg so like look at it so 18 pieces of these sizes of fish give us we loaded the fish at random so invariably we are sure that we are having fishes that are 1.5 and above so that is it so look at what we are having here something that is workable so you can see the fishes are held you know they are held and these fish are going to be transported to another location so this is what we have here so this is just the discharge after a long period of growth so some of this look at the sand this is the sandy soil it's just black because the probiotics and the waste from the fish and on eating food have mixed up with it and it has stayed in this pond for, a, for over a year now because after the harvest of fish you don't need to do any special maintenance to the pond all you need to do is just to spread out the the sand uh, uniformly across the pond bottom then you fill up with water if you are if you are sorting out from under pond to this pond you might not need to add extra probiotics but if you are going to introduce the fingerlings to the pond you might need to add probiotics to the pond another one just to quicken the process of the break, uh, waste breakdown so we are loading again so uh, we had an average of uh, 200 pieces of fish in this pond so an optimum level after a period of three months, the current capacity of the pond should be 250 pieces of fish in a 10 
feet by 10 feet pond, 4 feet height of course. You can see it here, you can see the fish are very loud in sound and uh, they are being loaded into this cherry can. So it's something that is workable and it's, it's working. So one of the things I actually noticed about this probiotic system of fish farming is that you might not need to do so much work on your pond in terms of um, scraping out the algae because there are no much algae around the pond. Uh, the productivity that happens in the uh, in, that happens while you culture your fish makes it possible for the fish to feed on them while they grow. So it is workable. So this is the farm. Fifteen pieces of fish. Um, what is the cage? Twenty-six point five. Twenty-six point five. Okay. So fifteen pieces of fish in this gallon, and we're having twenty-six point five. Thirteen twenty-eight kg. Twenty-nine kg. 13 pieces yeah. got 28 kg. Well, I mean, it's those who had bigger fish. In there. Yeah.